For the first time in human history, young generations will have the opportunity to solve all challenges, including those related to climate and epidemics, and to prosper like no generation before, just boldly making use of the excess carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, which is obviously free. In other words, for the young generations. 1. You will have for free everything that what all previous generations needed to drill or mine for, this at high cost. 2. You will be the first generation that will do everything right, in a sustainable and ecologically correct way. 3. You will produce more food than ever before, and that food will be organic which was never the case. 4. You will produce more renewable fuels, superior to petroleum derivatives, annually than the annual peak fossil fuels ever produced before. Annually, around 33 billion tons of carbon dioxide are added to the atmosphere, with the accumulation of this basic material being available for free to young generations. This is if you young people do not allow yourselves to be influenced by the lack of vision of previous generations, and if you do not fail to support the needed action plan, preferably further developed by you or together with you. The transformation of atmospheric carbon dioxide into organic biomass by photosynthesis in forests has been naturally occurring for millions of years. This continues to be the case of carbon agroforests, which are obviously also forests, and also can be and preferably are grown in rural areas, such as in agricultural areas degenerated by highly mechanized monocultures or with depleted aquifers. Certain NASA models prove that, day after day, just three tropical forests reverse most of the world's carbon dioxide accumulation, green flicker. Obviously variants of this type of forest also will be exceptionally efficient in doing the same. Carbon agroforests have an absorption capacity many times greater than tropical forests, mainly because the sequestered carbon does not decompose in sight as it is being transformed into food and products, also giant stationary batteries, solar panels, construction materials and basic materials for all industries, including the car and airplane industry. Approximately 1 trillion tons of carbon dioxide were added to the atmosphere during the industrial period. Therefore, the potential for you young generations to harvest is the renewable fuels equivalent of 1 trillion barrels of oil or the equivalent of 100 years of fuels production in Saudi Arabia, remembering that Saudi Arabia's production has peaked and is in decline since 2016, and alternatives will be needed. Fuels derived from carbon forest products are non-toxic because they are produced from organic materials, while petroleum is highly toxic and releases toxic fumes. We, amicably but urgently, invite scientists to attempt to reprimand any part of this and other videos. Viewers, please present this invitation to scientists as much as you can. Eight billion humans must be informed about this obvious opportunity for everyone to thrive and solve all types of challenges.